Oh my God, what? Oh, oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Now, uh, this is interesting. You know, not only is this obviously directed by Steven Spielberg, so I'm kind of excited about that. There's a lot to, you know, to, to, to talk about with a director such as Steven Spielberg um, you know, creating a story. But um, we're still doing Halloween themes right here. We still are. And uh, we tackled so many different genres, so many different avenues of horror. I know there's psychological. We witnessed traumatic horror. <laughs> we witnessed surrealism. We witnessed uh, dark fantasy. We've witnessed uh, uh, slashers, gore, all of that. And it's so great to see horror, the genre, being able to blend and, 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 and use itself as a tangible way to tell a scary story or just a story that can get under our skin. You know, it really taps into the unknown. And to kind of continue with the unknown, it was really cool to see this film win the, uh, the, the Halloween polls because obviously, you know, I think it's like a bigger film, but also because, you know, having this within the Halloween segment, I'm also looking at sci-fi, you know, through the lenses of sci-fi and I think sci-fi has a really cool way of tapping into horror not to say that this movie will be able to do it I don't know but you know one of the films that comes to mind when horror and sci-fi blend together are is obviously Alien. Um, Alien I think is a the first one uh, is a perfect example of you know, using fundamental filmmaking horror elements you know like slow camera movement uh, building up suspense uh, not showing the creature for a good bit. I, I would even classify Jaws as a horror as well, too. Um, I think there is something to, well, Jaws is a sci-fi, but uh, I think there's something to the unknown to be spoken for when it comes to the genre of horror. So it's going to be really interesting seeing how the sci-fi, and also I'm just judging by the title, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, maybe aliens, you know? You know, just, you know, really neat ways of how horror just as a genre can just continuously take new approaches and everything like that i'm not sure if you guys have seen nope but another example of uh horror taken into an interesting turn so i'm excited to jump into this like always guys and um, i'm hoping that you guys are having a great day i hope that you guys are enjoying yourselves i hope that you guys have picked out your costumes if you guys have kids i hope that you guys are able to just like go and just you know have that experience of like halloween you know i think that's pretty cool um which reminds me i gotta figure out what outfit i'm gonna get so i'm going to probably do that right after i do this but like always guys if you want to be able to support the channel the best way to do it is the patreon we got all types of stuff over there uh, not only just movie poll reactions and all that good stuff and uh early access but we also have just uncuts as well too if you want to listen to more of what i have to say and you know there's a lot of other things that you know you would like to hear about you can by checking out that you can also support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe and at the very least you don't have to do any of the things i just said just sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into close encounters of the third kind again guys if you want to be able to listen to and hear all that I have to say about this film, maybe your favorite part isn't in the YouTube edit because I'm unable to put, you know, all of its entirety on this film. You can definitely check it out on the full length and the Patreon. Get your copy of the film and sync it up to mine and you're good to go. <laughs> this set looks awesome. <laughs> Damn. That is a really cool environment to have at your control. That's pretty awesome. Peter in Villa Hermosa. I'm just a little taken by surprise. It's all the Shalogli. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Pardon. I love how natural the, the dialogue is. Like, people are cutting each other off. People are obviously yelling because there's a storm. And, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to still have that natural effect. Five. Huh. But it looks brand new. That's, yeah, I was just about to say, how does it look so, how does it, how does it still look preserved? And it's been 1945. I mean, 1945 to whenever this was set, it's a good bit of time. 
Yeah, how the heck did it arrive? Does it still work? Like, that's, that's weird. Aries 31, Roger. I have a primary target about that position now. I have no known high altitude traffic. Uh, stand by one, I'll check low, over. I said it before in other films that involve this type of technology, but I was, and I'll say it again now, I love, I love older technology. I love seeing it. I love how it's always shot. I love the neon coloring, the lighting that comes from it. I love that everything's on top of one another, and it's all like government, but also science-y at the same time. I also know, I love that I don't know what the hell they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I have the primary target now in your uh, 10 o'clock so position, uh, five miles I've never been like that. See, again, I love that the dialogues are overlaying. It's so good. <laughs> Why the hell do you have that? Why do you have that? You kind of low-key deserve getting scared now. All right, like, that's crazy. That is just crack energy right there. Kid, what the heck? What? <laughs> what is your room? Is it like Toys R Us? What the heck is going on here? That's creepy, man. <laughs> this kid is adorable. I'm sorry that I was roasting you beforehand. I still think having all of that is just beyond weird. <laughs> Love it. Again, I feel like this is my third time saying it already, but again, I love when things like this happen. You know, when there's so much overlaying going on, it just helps immerse me within the scene a lot more. It helps me not feel like I'm watching a film. Like, there's so many ways that you can do that in any type of film. Woo! That's crazy. Oh, that is so cool. Damn. <laughs> She's over here looking for her son like he's a dog. <laughs> like a lost dog. Oh, man. That is... That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be a lot more pressed if I saw my son wander off into the woods. In the middle of nowhere. The single circuit's going to lead you right to nowhere. Oh, whoa, no way. That's not what I think it is. That's probably something else, right? That was crazy. No way that that happened. Yo. The way that scene looked was so cool. What? This entire set is awesome. I love how they're just morphing this set. It feels like I'm in one of those, like... <laughs> Universal rides or something. No! Fuck it! The way she said no. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> the way she said no. This this mom is hilarious, bro. They, they, yo, these guys are, first off, how they're flying is gangster as heck. These guys are just surfing on the surface. They're just chilling. What the heck? I didn't think they were just going to flat out see them surfing by. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. No way you just did that, man. <laughs> What do you think this is? GTA? What? I love when it comes to bringing the scale. Steven Spielberg is able to bring it, you know? I love how something like this is not an isolated event. Where it usually is. There's nothing wrong that it is. If anything, it's probably a lot more scarier that way. But to have it take place and affect the entire world... That brings a whole new level of horror as well, I think, because, I don't know, I feel like the thing is just so much bigger now, 
It also just depends on how you tell your story. I have no idea if this is related to the, you know, the aliens in the sky, but it's really interesting seeing everyone's perspective from individual to, you know, different countries to, you know, just different cultures witnessing this event because the UFOs pass through several different places all around the world. So it's really cool seeing the overwhelming effect of the world being affected by this, you know, playing on that, that, that tingling human notion of what else is out there. That can be fascinating. That can be horror. Yeah, that really comes up to you. This experience could be fantastical. And to other people, they could watch this film and get a horror film out of it. Damn it, I know this. I know what this is. I love that there's a there, there's information that even we can't understand. You know, that apparently the characters know. It sounds like there's some cosmic elements happening here. Cool transition. Like that. Those are such good ways to bridge everything together, you know? From expansion all the way down to the individual level. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. This entire house is coming alive. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. This is... All, all that's missing is, like, blood leaking from the walls. And then you'd have Evil Dead. Hmm, that's a cool shot. That's clever. That was clever. That was a clever shot. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of that lens. I, I For the life of me, I just never... I never remember the name of it. <laughs> the wife is like, please. You're like putting together sculptures of what looks to be a giant pile of shit <laughs> around the children. Stop. But I got to say, I really, I don't know. This element right here is probably the most frightening because we can't understand it, you know? There's only something that literally him in this entire film can only understand. As you can see, it's tormenting him. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Damn, I wasn't expecting the whole family foundation to crumble. That was crazy. Oh, there goes your rock. I recognize that rock anywhere. I recognize that. That rock looks like a rock I know of. <laughs> That's a mountain, right? That's totally a... I don't know what the mountain's called, but it's totally that. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. That's that's a that's a wild looking thing right there. I have to have a little talk about Kim. Clever camera movement. I love that. Camera's just tracking and showing us more additional layers of information, just segments to help bridge them together. I don't know. It's rewarding. It's rewarding when you can piece together things for yourself, guided by the filmmaking. And if you aren't aware of the filmmaking, you can still register things just from the motioning of the story. But for those who pay attention to the filmmaking, you can piece together information at a pace that is just more along the lines of the film. You know, filmmaking is a language. 
the family it was a joke. Been dislocated have been assured that the danger will be over. My ears are like <laughs> trying to hear both 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 convos. Oh man. <laughs> You know, it's a shame that, you know, he couldn't have been like her. It <laughs> just stuck to drawing. For the love of God, he made like a whole 3D sculpture in his like basement. There's no reason for you to be driving that hardcore. <laughs> no one, no one's chasing you. No one's chasing you. Just take your time. Oh my God. Damn. That was crazy. My man was really trying to wreck. That's not crazy, is it? I really do love the the overwhelming urge for these people to go to whatever it is that they're trying to find. I love that. I love that it's so much that his family had to leave him <laughs> like it's it's that cosmic that i love is that what i think it is is that is that is that sticks from daredevil <laughs> is that who i think it is sleep for six hours to wake up with a hell of a headache love again dialogue overlapping i love it i don't care how many times i gotta say it but I just want y'all to know that it's really cool. And I would love to see more films do it. <laughs> never imagined that. Am I painting? I only painted one side. There's no canyon in the doodles that I made. Next time, try sculpturing. You've given us a hell of a lot of credit. That's a good hour's climb up there. Come on, let's go. Proved me wrong. Proved me wrong. All right. What a way to fill up that gap. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, I was asking, I was like, why did he sculpt it and other people painted it? You know, because him sculpting it resulted in his family leaving. But it's nice to finally get the payoff of knowing why, you know, it was important for him to sculpt it. Because he knows the area way better than anyone else. So that's really cool. I like that. They're just cold, Los Angeles! I'm just registered what he just said out of his mouth. He said, they're just crop dusting. Do you not see the mountain that you are on? What are they crop dusting? <laughs> wow, that's so cool that they look like stars. Oh, there's a lot of them. Whoa, there's a lot more than I thought there was. Okay. Wow, they're like, it's like they're stars, but they're just moving. You wouldn't even realize it. Down a major third. I love how sci-fi this got. This is pretty damn great. This is reminded me of um, Arrival. What on earth? Who is, <laughs> who's driving these things? or flying these things. There's literally, liter I mean, there's literally like a whole squad. There, there's a whole legion. There's an army of these things. They are literally the stars in the sky. What the heck? They pulled up the party though, I'm not gonna lie. They look like they down a party. If aliens are this cool, and we can all hang out to Daft Punk. By all means, deck your space ups out right now. Deck it out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of happy he, like, that's in there. <laughs> I mean, it's weird, but it makes sense. These two share a connection that no one else on the planet has. You know, like, that's... I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh, oh, that's a big one. That's a big one.
I love that nobody cares that he's there. <laughs> I mean, why would you? Eric David A. Lieutenant J.G., United States Navy. 0639 It's like a time capsule. They just... They just released people from different time periods. From all over the world. That's wicked. <laughs> she is a very unique mother. Oh, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, I was not expected to see it. Damn, that looks freaky. Yeah, now what do you do? Now what do you do? What on earth? What not from earth? What is that? <laughs> Yo, he said goodbye family. Goodbye forever. I'm going in there. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's... Damn. This thing is bigger than I thought. <laughs> this thing is way bigger inside. What? I've been like, God damn, you... <laughs> I wouldn't start roasting it. But I'd definitely be like... You guys got basketball? Wow. And that's how they ended. That's cool, man. That's cool. He really just upped and left, though. His family don't care. He just said, F it. I'm going with my new family now. <laughs> All right, guys. And that is the end to what is this film called again <laughs> close encounters of the third kind all right everybody we just got done close encounters of the third kind this film did a lot of things it, it did a lot of things and it was a lot more uh it took a lot more risk than i thought it was going to be usually the alien is not necessarily shown and if it is it's very subtle they outright shown these guys <laughs> and all of their glory <laughs> and i gotta say i kind of like that i like that the approach was we're going to show you and basically put on a show <laughs> and that's kind of cool and everything prior to them showing up and you know doing like a whole musical <laughs> was really well done as well too i love that you know there was a little bit of cosmic that was hinted here you know these uh the the this the, these imageries of uh the mountain in wyoming and the connection our main characters had to this you know this thing that no one else can understand i think that's pretty cool it gives like a nice uh, a really cool connection to the unknown and something that i talked about previously before even going into this film you know and, and the intro was really how this film is going to be able to take a, uh, a an approach to horror and i think that's how it did itself you know like there was a lot of cosmic there was a lot of uh horror filmmaking elements you know at the beginning of the intro with the toys moving and all of that you know this really is you know or i should say before getting to the end part because i feel like the ending has a lot more of like a statement saying like okay these guys aren't bad but um prior to that it i love that it was all towards perspective you know what do you think do you think that these aliens are bad do you think that they're not why you know it's it, it made a lot of leeway for the audience to really depict how they feel they can look at this film as a horror film they can look at this film as a sci-fi film they can look at this film as uh, as as a multitude of things it just really comes down to how the viewer is approaching this and obviously towards the end we are you know uh guided towards a more natural ending uh for this film and i gotta say i gotta i gotta appreciate the fact that they went all out on this you know it's not it's not normal for that you know for for us to see the alien 
you know, for us to even have aliens that are cool with us. So I really do like the approach and I love that, you know, throughout this entire film, one of the cool little sci-fi elements was language, communication. I know that I've talked about Arrival, but it's nice to see a film that's even prior to Arrival tackle something like this because yeah, how the hell would we communicate with aliens? I love that there was a system at play and it made somewhat sense so i gotta say there was a lot of elements with this and this was a very grand grand scope uh of a film and obviously you know steven spielberg being a master at that so it was really cool seeing all the elements pieced together all the other filmmaking elements pieced together too and give us something in the end that i was not expecting and i think that was pretty cool so we'd love to hear your thoughts as always in the comments below guys stay safe stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat